Are you heading to the Universal Orlando Resort and looking for an amazing and whimsical restaurant to enjoy while you're there? In this video, I'm gonna go over why you'll wanna check out the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium, which is a fun steampunk themed restaurant known for their amazing milkshakes. So let's get into it. The Toothsome Chocolate Emporium is a full-service 19th century themed restaurant, bar, and confectionery that serves classic American-style dishes like steak and seafood. But what they're really known for is their amazing chocolates, artisanal milkshakes, and sundaes. The Toothsome Chocolate Emporium is located in the CityWalk area of Universal Orlando Resort. And you won't miss this steampunk-themed restaurant right next door to Islands of Adventure. You are able to make your reservations on a line before your visit if you want to make sure that you get in during the busy times like in the evenings or during the weekends. We visited on a Sunday afternoon for lunch and we weren't able to get reservations online before we went so we decided to take our chances on walking up and thankfully during lunchtime it was only a 45 minute wait. So we spent the time walking around the gift shop which was filled with beautiful chocolates, a huge wall of candy, steampunk accessories like hats and jewelry, in addition to many other beautiful treats. I had a hard time not ordering a treat or two while we were waiting for our table. If you don't want to wait for a table and just want to pop in and try one of their famous milkshakes, you can always come over to their milkshake bar that's located just right next to the reception stand. Here, you can order their famous milkshakes to go. If you want to stick around, you can always enjoy your milkshake. They do have a few tables and chairs in their lounge area, or you can grab one of their tables outside. Once our table was ready, we got a text and we made our way over to the reception area. We did choose to stick around the Chocolate Emporium while we waited for our table, but you really are free to walk all around City Walk if you do have quite a bit of a wait. We were seated upstairs and got a table on the walkway right in the middle of the main dining room area, which is this fun, whimsical factory theme. Their menus are on a line, so you would just scan the QR code on the plaque on the table, which will take you right to their online menu where you can view everything from your phone. And this menu is pretty large. You'll definitely wanna take some time to peruse through all of their choices. And I know I had a hard time narrowing down what I wanted to have, especially the dessert. But we knew we wanted to try the fried zucchini for our appetizer, which we've tried before, and I just knew that I loved it. These zucchini are covered in Parmesan cheese and comes with this delicious sesame soy dipping sauce. And the only complaint that I have is that I wish there were more of them because I inhaled these and I blinked and they were gone. If you love zucchini, you'll definitely want to try this dish. And I am feverishly trying to see if I can replicate these at home. For our entrees, I ordered the brisket and wild mushroom meatloaf, which was this delicious meatloaf that's served with roasted corn, crispy fried onions, mashed potatoes, and a Bordelaise sauce. But my husband ordered the Pub It Up hamburger, which was also amazing. This burger is a half pound house-made patty, andouille sausage, queso, cheddar cheese, Dijon mustard, and kettle chips on a pretzel bun. And he also opted in for the truffle fries, which I also tried and are delicious. But while you're enjoying your meal, don't forget to save room for dessert because the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium is known for their desserts and you won't want to miss them. For our desserts, we opted to try their famous milkshakes. And I had their red velvet milkshake, which is vanilla ice cream, raspberry sauce, rainbow sprinkles, whipped cream, and a topped with a red velvet cupcake and a maraschino cherry. My husband had the strawberry cheesecake, which is sour cream ice cream, cheesecake, graham crackers, whipped topping, and topped with a chocolate dipped strawberry. I don't think that you can go wrong with any of their desserts. They're all pretty amazing. And while you're enjoying your food and desserts, keep an eye out for Penelope Toothsome and her robot companion Jacques. 
They can be seen making their way around the restaurant every hour, and they do come by every table. We saw them downstairs several times making their way around, and we waited for them, hoping that they would make their way upstairs while we were there, but they never came around to where we were sitting. However, I did see them make their way upstairs, and at the end of their meal, I walked around the restaurant trying to see if I could find them, and I wasn't able to see them in the bar area, so I went to the other side, and there they were, entertaining the crowd with a bit of poetry reading. Hello, again. Uh, I just do poetry recitation. Oh no, I forgot. I go to the side of the track, so if they haven't made it around to your table during your visit, you may have to walk around the restaurant to go and find them. If you are interested in eating at the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium, here are a few things to know. You are able to make your reservations online before your visit. If you're wanting to eat here for dinner, I highly recommend doing this because the wait can get up to two hours long once people start leaving the parks. If you're not able to make your reservations online and you still want to try to eat here, they do take walk-ups and your best bet is to go here during the day for lunch since most of the crowds will still be in the parks enjoying their day. If you just want to enjoy one of their milkshakes, you can always swing by and grab one from their milkshake counter. And regardless of if you eat in the restaurant or grab one from the milkshake counter, the jars that the milkshakes come in are a great souvenir and you're welcome to bring them home with you. If you're looking for more amazing restaurants to experience in Orlando, I've got a whole playlist for you that I'll plug up on the screen right now. In this list is everything from other themed restaurants like the T-Rex Cafe to master chef restaurants like Morimoto Asia. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.